Oh my god, wait, let me do one of those edits like who's a beauty influencer. Welcome foolish mortals, please watch this tutorial if you dare. Today I am going to show you how I painted this haunted mansion themed manicure, so let's get started. So for this mani, I actually did this for halfway to Halloween, which I don't know if you can tell or not, but the beginning of August is not halfway to Halloween. Yeah, so I'm pretty behind on editing my YouTube tutorials. Anyways, I did this mani back in May. Oh my god, that was a long time ago. So, Halfway to Halloween is a celebration put on by the Disney parks to celebrate... Um, it, it's on the tip of my tongue, just one second. Um, oh, Halloween. More specifically, being halfway to it. So I saw a bunch of the Disney influencers that I follow online posting about it and celebrating it and I was like, I want to jump on that train. I want to celebrate Halloween when it's not even Halloween. Dare I say, when it's halfway to Halloween. <laughs> now, I may have said this before, but I love content about the Disney parks and cruises and just all that, but I have never been to any Disney parks or cruises or anything Disney ever in my life. I live vicariously through Disney influencers. And I'd really love to get to experience Disney in real life someday, but oh my god, it is very expensive. I saw a commercial last night advertising a deal that they have going on right now for a four-day ticket to the parks for $99 a day. And I was like, that's that's not too bad, I, I guess, for like Disney. But in smaller words, under the big $99, it said $396 minimum. And then I realized, like, that's just for one ticket. So basically, it's $400 for, like, a four-day ticket for one person. But I don't live near any of the parks, so obviously I would have to drive or fly there, and I would not want to go alone. So to account for, like, my family, that would be $400 for each of them, plus airfare or gas money, and then that's just to get in the doors. And now you can pay like extra for Genie Plus and stuff like that to skip the lines, but if you don't have that, then you may end up waiting in lines for the majority of your day that cost $100 to get in. And also, the food is so expensive. Which is a real bummer because it looks so good. Like, there are whole accounts online, like just like, like the Disney food blog. Like, the food looks amazing. I want to try the Dole Whip, the coconut Dole Whip. I want to try a Mickey beignet. Ugh, I'm, I'm such a victim of capitalism. Anyways, did that rant just deter Disney from ever reaching out to me to offer to fly me to the parks for free? I hope not, although it's highly unlikely that anyone from Disney is watching this tutorial. But yeah, that would be so cool, so please, Disney, I can't afford to go to your parks, but I really wanna. Look at the cute nail art I've been painting this whole time that I am supposed to be talking about because that was the whole point of the video. Oh god, I got so off topic, I'm sorry. Disney, you know where to find me. Okay, onto the nail art. Wow, where was I? I'm so sorry about that. So this nail art is obviously themed after the Haunted Mansion ride from Disney because of the whole halfway to Halloween celebration back in May. But also, guess what? My insane procrastination caused me to wait so long to post this tutorial that now the freaking Haunted Mansion movie is out. It just released like last week, I think. Maybe. I don't know, it's, it's out now. It looks like fun. You hear that, Disney? I'm promoting your movie for free. I like the Haunted Mansion movie on Disney Plus already. Um, I think it's the one with like Eddie Murphy in it. I don't know, I just love a cute little spooky movie. For like the whole month of October, I love just playing Halloween films in the background throughout my day, and then Halloween music whenever I'm driving or walking anywhere. It's just a way of life. Or I guess you could say, a way of afterlife. <laughs> Please laugh at my sad jokes, I'm so sorry. 
Okay, back once again to the nail art. I'm painting the iconic Madame Leota in her crystal ball on my middle finger, then one of the faces from the also iconic Haunted Mansion wallpaper. She says as if she's ever been inside of it to see it in real life. Then on my index finger, I painted a candelabra because, well, honestly, I, I couldn't, I just couldn't think of what to put on that nail. Sometimes it's hard to think of what to put on all the nails in a design. Um, anyways, on my pinky, I wrote room for one more because apparently that's something like the ghosts in the ride say. Maybe? Or maybe the ghost host say it? Or like a painting on the wall? I don't know. Who says that? Maybe it's the, the Twilight Zone guy? Wait, no. Oh my gosh, that's, that's not right at all. The Twilight Zone's a whole different thing. My god, I am such a fraud. Okay. Anyways, lastly, on my thumb, I wrote Foolish Mortals in the Haunted Mansion font, which I love how that looks. It looks so cool. And yeah, I'm going to stop ranting and let you all enjoy the spooky music that I so carefully picked out for this tutorial. And then I will be back in just a few moments with my uh, closing remarks, if you can call them that. So yeah, please enjoy the music and I'll be back in like a minute. I'm back. Did I scare you? I'm sorry. <laughs> so to add some spice to the look, as you saw, I selectively added some glow-in-the-dark top coat to only certain sections of the nail art, and it looks plain in normal lighting, but then when you turn the lights off, BAM! Glow-in-the-dark spooky nails. Oh my gosh, look at the eyes. Ah! I love, love, love the effect that the glow-in-the-dark top coat added to this nail art look. I think that only adding it to certain spots like the crystal ball or the creepy eyes just added so much more to how it looks in the dark than just covering up the whole design. I don't know. I just love it. And with that, my Haunted Mansion nail art design is complete. I hope you enjoyed seeing this design come to life and I hope to see you in my next video. If you want to keep up with my nail art adventures, you can find me on socials at HeySalto. Okay, I hope you have a spooktacularly great day. If you dare.